Yo, what is up you guys and welcome to another My Witch Angel reading just for you. Now, okay, I'm making a super special intro for this video because one, you might have seen the time like already and you're like, oh, it's shorter. Well, y'all, I am trying to change a few things up for the channel to make things a little bit better for everyone. And I've noticed, you know, even though I love, love giving long in-depth readings, it can kind of seem like uh, a lot of time to spend on YouTube <laughs> for a reading. So my plan going forward forward it's gonna have like a good 10 to 15 minutes for each reading and don't worry though I'm still gonna give long and depth readings you're gonna find extended readings for purchase okay uh, I'll put the link below it's gonna be uh, I think the website is called gum road or gum something okay I'm sorry oh my god I just like found it like what last night I was like oh this is great so look forward to that um and you know uh, I'm probably gonna like set like the price for like five dollars for another what another 15 to 20 minutes You know um because you know, if you're paying for something I'm gonna give you like everything I can give you okay um, and you know actually at first I was kind of adverse to Charging for readings because I'm like, you know, I, it's like my gift and I just like to share it like because it just that just brings me joy But you know, I also kind of want to practice what I preach with which is like, you know capitalize on your talents I say that for everybody like I run into because you know I believe if you know you have something of quality that you can offer to people Why not try to make your life's work and like what if I could make you know tarot readings a Actual like full-time job, right because I love it. I love it so much so I look forward to that, okay? Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Also, like I will be putting more like if you want, if you want only, like donation things like in the um, description too, like uh, Cash Up and PayPal uh, for sure, maybe Zelle if I can figure it out because you guys know I'm like not good with technology. <laughs> All right, I will be getting better, <laughs> hopefully. So anyway, that is the intro and look forward to your reading, okay? I'll see you there. Yo, what is up y'all? No, okay, usually I said my way sage like for our cleansing and everything but y'all I ain't got no more so what we're gonna do we're gonna use my holy water right here oh yes a blessed everything okay spirit we ask you cleanse this space clear out our mind body heart and soul so that we may open everything up and have a good honest and pure reading Ooh. okay so if you uh, skip the intro, just know I'm going to shorten these readings and don't worry, I'll have extended readings for purchase down below, okay? So here, let me go ahead and ring this to get it started. Mmm, don't you just love that? Oh, it makes me feel so much better. Okay, so I haven't set this timer yet because this is just going to be the um, pile selection. We're going to use my tarot for our pile selection. Spirit, can we have our piles, please? Wow, Ooh, interesting, sorry. Um, wow, the tower as a pile, wow, okay. Oh, if you know tarot, please don't be worried about it. Do not, and don't be like, oh my God, well, don't choose that one. Um, it's just, you know, whatever you're called for. If you don't, oh, let me move these. Y'all know me, I never look at the camera. Um, here we go. Now, if you don't know tarot, don't worry. There's um, nothing bad about the tower. Honestly, just kind of go for what you feel called for. Honestly, you guys, in this one, I would like you guys to choose maybe what colors are sticking out for you. I mean, yeah, these uh, kind of have a similar color scheme, but this has more reds. Um, that's just to help out people who aren't maybe used to like picking out a card. If you are used to like using your intuition to um, um, pick out a pile or you know a group, go ahead and do that now. Okay, you can pause it. Heart. <laughs> now, if you don't want to pause and you already know your pile, go ahead and select it, and I will see you in your reading, okay? <laughs> Bye! Yo, what is up, Pile 1, and welcome to your reading, or welcome back! If you have, um, you know, been following me thus far, I know I've been off for many of you guys, I've been busy manifesting, news coming soon, okay? Um... Right, if you're new though, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. Um, settle in, settle down, and grab your freshments, y'all. We stay hydrated, okay? Um, so when I can sip, you can sip. All right, I'm gonna be, we're gonna do cheers, all that jazz, okay? Um, now, if you missed the intro, so here, we're gonna have our shortened readings, okay? We're gonna be like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, but don't worry, I will offer extended readings. Um, you can find that in the description down below of what purchase, woo! Okay, um, let's go ahead and settle in. I'm gonna start our timer so I do not go over time. Um, but yes, uh, if you are new, what I like to do is a vibe check. I'm gonna pick up on your vibes, and if that is whatever I, you know, whatever I get, if that resonates with you, 
that you are in the right place, stick around, okay? Um, if not, that is always, always okay. You can always pick another pile, all right? Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. You know, I'm getting, okay, I'm getting a lot from this red sun here. I'm getting maybe like, hold on. You kind of been in this like sense of what is going to happen next. Maybe it is a little bit of fear, right? Or a little bit of anticipation or anxiousness, right? You just, you know, things are kind of unknown for you right now. It can be either or. I'm getting like Mercury and retrograde um, energies right here. If you don't know what that means, that basically means shit's going down. <laughs> or things can seem topsy-turvy or maybe your just brain isn't working as normal, right? You know, you can kind of see how this tie is a tire. Tower is a flame. Um, um, tire, maybe that's, um, maybe, hold on, maybe you guys work at a, some, maybe some people work at a tire shop where they, maybe some of y'all need to get your tires changed before, um, your car maybe might break down. If you've been thinking about that, about your car, maybe, you know, check on that because I think it's maybe coming through here. Um, you know, certain things come in with my readings, like what I say, so. Anyway, but you know, you kind of see like how these cards are falling for you, right? Maybe you're just kind of not sure what's to happen next and you're not, you're anxious about it. You know, there's a positive side and a, oh my God, what's happening next? What's going to happen next? And I don't, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen next for you guys yet. So we're going to go ahead and get more of our tarot. Yeah. Um, let's see, Spirit, can you clarify? Oh my. Oh wow. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of you guys have been thinking about a lot of different things in your head. That can be a little distracting or a little uh, stressful or, um, you know, maybe misleading. Um, a lot of fears, nightmare type vibes. You know, we're getting a lot of uh, swords here. And, you know, if you know tarot, swords are, are air elements. Um, and it's all have to do with mentality, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's... So, hey, I mean, <laughs> we're making sense so far, but if y'all can see it, y'all, I'm so sorry. I never look at the camera. I just be reading, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> um, but actually, hold on. We're gonna... Oh, guys, so it's been a minute, but I'm getting a couple more cards for you. Oh, hello. Wow, oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put these to the side. We're gonna leave our tarot here for now. I think we're gonna get into more Oracle after this. Um, so, let me see. Okay, so in this reading now, Spirit is offering you uh, a clear, a clear a clarification of your mind. You see how these angels coming down to pluck the swords from the mind, right? So, um, you know, expect this for this reading and I want you to manifest this to be like you know what yeah this reading is going to help me out because it is I want you to believe in that have faith in that because you know spirit your angels your guides you know they work by faith give that energy out positive energy begets positive energy you know but you haven't been in this you haven't been following your own like not even not exactly like your own hearts but you haven't been following your own drive. You haven't been feeling your confidence of who you are meant to be. Look at this Queen of Wands. You know, the Queen of Wands in regular tarot is all about the attraction of everything. She can have whatever she wants because she is that baddie. Okay, she's a baddie. But, you know, you haven't been feeling falling into this energy. Um, you've kind of been letting um, the lion tame you, in a sense. You've been letting um, these negative... Uh, situations or happenings or things that haven't even happened yet determine and dictate who you are like right now and how you are to behave you haven't been following along your path you know with this uh what is this eights yes the eight of cups here you know you have so much promise for you if you could only believe it though right you know you can kind of see how she's illustrated like oh you know if that oh, could only be me but all she has to do is get up and walk over there you know the story in this tarot is that she is like this like lost fallen princess but you know, she's been lied to, you know, maybe I've been lied to about what is to be promised for you. You know, I'm saying like what is to be for like what is, hold on. Because, you know, we also have this emperor in reverse and that's a big deal, you guys. If you know Major Arcana, emperor is like, uh, first of all, Aries energy. So, um, you might have some big Aries energies in you, but it's in reverse, meaning you don't like have all your wits about you. You're not moving in confidence, right? It's like the world is kind of controlling you. You're letting world events maybe determine what you can do, right? Who what you can be. Mm, so many doubts. So many doubts. 
Um, you know, you have a very active mind. We see that with our Queen of Wands. Sorry, Queen of Wands. Uh, Queen of Swords here. You know, like she is very quick-witted, okay? She cuts out bullshit. And you know, this is your ability. So you need to fall into that. Stop like, letting your mind run into like, oh, this could happen, oh, this could happen, what could happen next, or no, what's gonna happen? Like, in fact, take more power control of what you can do. You know, the tower itself in, in tarot, if y'all can see it, I'm sorry, my angles are like bleh today. Um, it's all about things being pulled out like from underneath you, right? Things being stripped away from you or your life, things that you know are not serving you anymore. And it's kind of like a divine intervention thing. You see how this lightning boosh comes from the sky, right? To set this tower of flame and destroy everything. Um, maybe you have been going through that actually, um, a tower moment, and maybe that's why you've chosen this, but no, it's a divine intervention because it is supposed to, you know, strip you down to like your main core. I've said this in a different reading before, your spiritual oomph, you know, that solar plexus energy. What is solar plexus energy? That inner confidence of being like, you know what? I can take power over my own life. So you must speak this for yourself. Um, we will give you some steps on how to make this happen. Okay. Um, we're going to go into my angel oracle now. Let's see. Oh, my. What? That makes sense. Uriel, our angel of flame. Oh, hi. Um, I'll explain everything. Excuse me. I just have to get your cards. Man. All right. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, we'll keep you as well. And you. Mm-hmm. In reverse. Okay. All right, we're gonna get into it, but before we do, you guys, cheers! Take a sip, take a sip. Mm. Yeah, I love water. Y'all, please drink water. When you just drink water and drink more and more of it, your body will, like, will crave it. Anyway, okay. So let's start with our Rimiel Angel of Visions, however, connected with this disconnection of heart with Tifreds, right? I'll hold them up for you so you may see. Okay. See, like, the art? I love it so much. Okay. Now, listen. Believe it or not, everyone, every single person out there is psychic. You are too. Hey, welcome to the vibe. Welcome to the club. Okay, I'm initiating you now. <laughs> no, but listen, no. Like, so, Ramiel, he is a reminder for you now, saying that you must listen to your instinct, that you must listen to what you think spirit is calling you to do, or the universe, or, like, whatever you want to call it. However, there's one main source, okay? Um, and it is always there to offer you whatever you need and guidance and love for your life, right? However, you've been ignoring that because you know it speaks through your heart you know you have to follow your heart with these types of things and that can be oh so hard now look you have listen these are like kind of like the triad of faith right here the angel of faith we have uriel angel of flame he is the one of the inner flame spiritual flame of passion and desire to like move forth and go forward to like what you know you are called to do what you believe is right what, what would make you feel on fire like literally Okay, and then we have Bina, the left eye of knowledge. She's in reverse. Okay, but here she is, um, you know, upright. Now, she's the angel all about, you know, your intuition, your divine gifts, what is offered through, where? The heart, what's up? However, she looks up to the skies because, you know, it is spirit and the divine that, you know, lets that knowledge, that divine knowledge and um, feeling and intuition come through you, flow you through you, right? And it's through love for yourself, okay, and for others that you may let that shine through, okay? Um, so we have, what's Zachariel, right? Our angel of memories. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to go into maybe a little bit of your soul's records and Akasha records. Do we have time for that right now? Okay, I might do that in the extended reading. Yeah, we're going to go into like your soul's origins in this extended reading because you're going to need that, okay? Um, yeah, okay. Let's, let's, and we're going to go into more detail with these angels as, as well in your extended reading. But since we're like kind of running out of time and I don't want to keep you guys for too long, um, I kind of want to give you some next steps at least, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to, I think that was supposed to be with those cards. Sorry, y'all. You know me. I just be reading. Okay. Leave me alone. <laughs> spirit. I say one thing, but spirit does another, but hey, it all works out. Oh, yeah. Two come out. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Mm -hmm. Child divine, but in reverse. 
you know, you guys can really be good at tricking yourselves. You are, you're good at like telling yourself the wrong thing. You're good at, uh, uh, what's the word? Convincing yourself of what is untrue or what you think is needed. I think that's what lets you to this tower moment right now where you are. You mis misguiding yourself. You haven't been listening to your own spirit. You haven't been listening to divine. You haven't been listening to the spirit uh, signs that they've been giving you. You know what I'm saying? That it's all there. Mm. Mm. You've let yourself fall a little bit, right? But we're going to make a comeback and know that this tower moment for you right now is spirit saying, hey, look, tough love. <laughs> it's like we love you enough to not let you go. Like, you know, how a parent, a good parent at least, is going to be like, look, I'm doing this because I love you. I know it hurts. I know you hate it. But in the end, it's going to help you. It's going to let you be a better person. You know, sometimes lessons in life are hard. What do we have on the bottom? Wow, the liberator. Look at that. It's going to liberate you. What you're going through right now is going to push you to realize your strengths. To realize to, for you to realize that you have so much potential within you to get through whatever you are going through. Period. And then with our angel of memory that came out before, it's remember what you have gone through. Okay? Everyone's had trials and tribulations. You have too. Don't compare yours to others. It's different for everybody. You're on your own path. And know that you've gone through it. Know that spirit has gotten through you through it. Know that your wits have gotten you through it. And think and know, believe that you are going to get through it now and will continue. Okay? Life isn't always going to be peaches and roses. Okay? And sometimes it's going to be hard. But know that you are... Mm, such a strong divine being you really are the way you push through is such a beautiful and amazing thing and i admire you for that and i give you gratitude for that and i thank you for pushing through because you know strength like this is needed we need leaders and soldiers like you look how she lights the flame for others look at that mm, mm, mm. i feel like you one of your messages is to be light a flame of freedom for others i'm not sure exactly how that can be um but I think it's supposed to set some other people free, okay? Um, I'm going to leave that for you guys here, okay? And I will see you in the extended. Woo! Woo! What's up? What's good? What's popping? Group 2, how you doing? I'll be doing well. <laughs> Y'all, before we get into anything, cheers. I take a sip. Take a sip. Shot, 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 everybody. Y'all, I don't know why I'm doing like this uh, fun, big, like, popping off energy with you guys when i am i don't know why did you just come from a party are you going to a party let me know like invite me um will i go i don't know maybe not but <laughs> invite me <laughs> my like inner gemini coming out anywho okay hi <laughs> um if you are a new here oh welcome 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 so glad you're here if you're returning i send my love for you i do for you i'm so glad you're here now if y'all uh, skip the intro, it's fine. Basically, I'm gonna do shorter readings now, so you know we don't like go over time. And um, but don't worry, I will be offering extended readings. You can find that for purchase in the description box. Okay. And here, let me start my timer so I don't go over. Um, because y'all know I will. So okay. If you are new here though, what I like to do is a vibe check. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pick up what I get from your vibes and. If that sits well with you, if that sits right, then hey, you're in the right place. Stick around and, so you can get your reading. If not, it's fine. You can always choose another pile, okay? Um, and get that reading in. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hold on, I'm getting that you guys are looking toward big things, big and better things, baby. Y'all got big dreams. And I feel like you're almost ready to do it, like ready to kind of fly off a little bit, you know, like this uh, king bird here is about to just fly into like this dream of like what it wants, right? I've been thinking, I've been thinking, you've been thinking huh, about like what you've been wanting to do. Like for real, like how are you gonna like uh, continue your life? What plans you want to put in place for your home, for your career? Um, how are you gonna be happy? Like what you want to offer for people? I've been really like thinking about like putting your um, next steps in place, right? I'm so glad you're here for this. You know, you know guys, I always notice new things for my cards because I mean, you know, tarot cards have so many things there. But I'm just now noticing, I've had these cards for years by the way, just now noticing this, uh, these palace doors um, in front of the bird here. So I think maybe you guys are stepping into more of a temple-like space or more um, of an upgraded type space, right? I mean, just new big things, good things coming for. Hold on. <gasps> Yo, there's a whole bird in the background. Guys, did you see that? Look, like, can you see? Look, guys, there might be a partner coming in for you too, bro. What is this? Y'all never seen it. Guys, I'm sorry. 
Y'all, I've had these cards for years. I've never, not once seen that. What the fuck? Okay, and look, look, all these stars too. Like, these are stars. Oh my God, so many good things coming for you. If you've been feeling like, oh my God, okay, these steps are good, then I think I can do this. And you've been putting a plan in place. I think this is spirits kind of like confirmation be like, oh yeah, girl, it's coming. Um, I think guys, might, you might want a timeline, right? I don't know if we're gonna get that, but we might. Uh, I don't even know what to pull next. I think I'm actually pulling more message here. I'm um, getting an offering of flowers for you that you might offer to other someone else or someone might offer for you, right? Um, hold on. As a gift, you know, it could be also chocolates as well. I don't know what's going on. What's going on here? It could be your birthday coming up soon. I'm getting that as well. <laughs> um, you know, some gifts, I don't know. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. And then let's get into your tarot. We're gonna continue with my star spinner. And see, guys, do you know that show? It was on um, Netflix. It was called The Legend of uh, She-Ra, uh, The Princess of Power. I feel like, first of all, y'all might, um, um, oops, if y'all can see anything, my bad. Um, like, anyway, I'm, I'm talking about that now because there was a sorcerer there um, who turned evil, like she turned out to be like bad or like she went, she became good after But anyway, um, her original like name was like Light Spinner or I think it was Star Spinner actually. What, something like that. And I don't know, I think you guys might fear a potential in you of going bad or going sour or doing bad, right? Or like maybe making the bad choice or maybe, um, you know, doing something that others might not like or might, you know, chastise you for or judge you for or you know just put yourself in a bad light you know doing these new things for yourself but listen just to know uh for you sorry i'm getting so many messages at once yo bro we got the freaking lovers <gasps> and the knight of cups oh my god okay guys i'll tell you like what everything means if you're new to tarot but like excuse me let me just keep going um which by the way like uh, look into that show. I mean, yeah, it's a cartoon, but it's like, it's good. <laughs> I don't know. I like cartoons. You might like cartoons too. Um, just light and happy. And I mean, this one's like, you know what I mean, for kids, because cartoons are Americans, but like, it's, there's a lot of, um, a lot of mature things about, um, you know, about relationships and friendship and, um, being yourself, right? Um, destiny. Mmm, maybe, maybe you're following your destiny now. Okay. Okay, I'm doing one more for you. Hold on, y'all. There it is. Woo! Okay, it's a three of, um, what's it? Coins in reverse. Pentacles, if you like, do the old school one. Okay, we're gonna keep it here for now. Um, excuse me while I read. Okay, yeah, a lot of like old notions for you have been put to death or being put to death. You're like, okay, I'm not gonna like fall into like my old habits. I'm not gonna fall into like my um, uh, uh, fears and doubts that's gonna like lead me down the wrong path or like cause me not to make any moves or motions, right? I think you've been afraid of investing in things that might bring you happiness, even though you might, even though you know it could actually bring you a lot of success, right? Um, you know, things that you've been wishing for, but you're not sure. Ooh, and manifesting as well. Um, that, okay, really fast. So manifesting, right? What does that mean? Basically, it's like putting an intention out into like of the ether, the universe, into spirit, okay? Um, because y'all like the universe is spirit, like the divine spirit, which we'll continue later. Anyway, um, if you don't believe that, sorry, it's the tea though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but like, and you know, so that there's that, you know, spirit hears you, your spiritual team hears you, Betty, great. And then also like, so they're going to start like moving things like, uh, around like in the world and like trying to like affect other people's, uh, uh, past to like help you align to yours. And like, it's also them aligning to theirs. Don't worry about the other. For you though, it's also putting in that work. Like, okay, if you want to be a singer, well, you, you go, okay, you can, wish and pray about it great tea that's awesome do that 50 percent. the other 50 percent is you actually writing a song putting yourself out there like recording things and you know actually making that happen and so the way manifestation comes about right and this is just one example it doesn't have to be singing it could be anything of what you're planning right you've been planning this um spirit comes around and they're like okay they like they bring you a producer right or they, they bring you or like give you an 
an ad or something for like some production company that you're like, oh wow, I like this or I heard of them and they're like, oh we know. And so you go to their website and they're like, oh we need new music or we need new sound, I don't know. But like that is how manifestation works. So you do the little bit of work and the spirit will come into you, like you and your path to like help you make that happen, okay? Um, let's see what that four of coins here. It's kind of like you've had um, these like set dreams for yourself but maybe you just haven't been taking too many steps for it. Right? Uh, maybe you've been afraid to, you don't know how to, right? Um, maybe you can get a little bit of help. But um, with this lover card here and this Knight of Cups, I mean, I don't know, to me it's kind of self explanatory. Maybe it is to you. But look, I mean, a divine partnership coming in. It's either somebody you know or somebody you've done before. Maybe somebody new is going to be offering you some love, okay? Offering you some relationship type of thing, okay? You can choose or not. Some people you've already in relationship and they're going to offer you something great and you're going to be like, oh my god, thanks, boo. Um, it could be up a level up in relationship, you know, from dating to like title status or title status to like engage, engage to marriage, marriage to. I don't know, kids, house, y'all, whatever, it, it depends on you, but I'm getting um, kind of a, a union here, and it could be a professional union as well, and, like, and someone like you just really vibe with, and like they're gonna like, hey, we're gonna offer you that's gonna, we're gonna offer you something that's going to really open up your heart and your emotions and allow you to keep pushing your emotions forward and expressing um, what you feel on the inside, right? You've been, you've been maybe wanting to follow your hearts, but maybe just didn't know how yet, or maybe things haven't been happening yet to like make that happen, right? Things have to be rearranged. You see? It's like actually have this come forward for you, come through for you. So don't worry, it's coming. Um, maybe in a few months, really. Because, you know, cup cards are all about months. Let's see what else we can get here. I'm actually going to be pulling um, my planets, signs, and houses cards for you. Let's see how much time we have. I'm liking this reading, guys. Ooh, we have some, like, six minutes before I'll cut it for you so we're not here too long or you're not here too long. And y'all, okay, so <laughs> sometimes I can be like a little stupid. <laughs> and guys, I just like found out from another reader on uh, YouTube. Uh, her name is, uh, I think she's Kino. Um, oh, a great reader, by the way. Uh, she's like, these are like, they make a sentence. Sometimes they can be wonky. Um, Cause y'all, like, I've had these like for a few months now, but I don't know if they made a sentence together. So we're gonna try it today. I don't know how it's gonna be, but. Oops. Oh, okay. Ooh, your manifestation's been very strong. If you don't even believe that, please believe that because um, Spirit has heard you and like, uh, they're really actually gonna try to make this happen for you. They're like, okay, we got you, girl, because I think it's actually, it's along your path. I think you're moving and you're either decided to move, you are moving, you have been moving along your divine path. And this is great. This is fucking great. I think we're gonna do one more. Oh, there it is, hi. Ooh, let's do one more. <laughs> there it is, hi! <laughs> Guys, should we just like finish it out? Let's just do it. Hold on, hold on, it's close. Ooh, it's close. Here it is. Ooh, okay. Taurus in 12th house. Hmm. Matt, you might have your Taurus in the 12th house. Uh, I'm feeling. If not, that's okay, but if you do... <sighs> Sorry, there's more messages here. You must move in a way, okay. When you're following your dreams, yes, you can, don't, I mean, yes, because follow your heart and like, you know, maybe make decisions that you haven't been made before, move ways that you haven't made before, then it can be new and a little bit scary, but please plan out what you are wanting to manifest, right? Like, for the future, and I think you have been doing that, but continue to do that. Don't you be like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna throw caution to the wind and just go for it because spirit's got me. Well, no, it's not exactly like that right now. With you guys, it's more of a half and half energy, okay? They're gonna meet you in the middle. Okay, so let's try to, mm, well, some earth energy here and this little bit of Libra, a little bit of air. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's just, I need to rearrange this. Because with Lib Libra and your Uranus, um, it's kind of a decision of working with a dream team, right? Working with a team to make this happen. Um, relationship, stir up the si situation by using what? We're using freedom and associations. Yeah, what do you need to look out for something? You need to find something, find this group, find these people to help you out with like what you're wanting to manifest, what you're trying to create here. Hmm. Uh, because you know, people, other people, this team or other like, you know, 
um, advice published or whatever just find more information because there's more perspective and more um, knowledge for you from experience that these people have had that um, can help you on your journey you know with your virgo energy i think you know you really do like to move independently and like depend on yourself to get you to where you're trying to go right and like that's <clears throat> amazing you're very you're very strong but know that you can't do everything all by yourself and if you did try to do everything by yourself it might not have you know manifested in the best way that you were trying to make happen you know what i'm saying like maybe it would have happened step one but you were looking for step five or something like this level one and you're going to level five if you have the help from other people um there's another arrangement here that i'm i must see um okay let's make another sentence Spiritual values, seeking oneness, as I'm reading upside down, so give me a second, with all there is. Uh, mm, we were talking about unity before, didn't we? Did we? Yeah, I don't know if we did, but if we didn't, oh, I think that was about one. Anyway, look, and that's the same for everybody. You, everyone is connected with spirit, everyone, and you must honor and treasure this union and be present in this to know that you have so much power to create what you want. Look at your, your faith. Mm. Your beliefs, they will not cost you, okay? Your relationships are a gift. Partners and balance, again, with this love offer. I think some of you are going to get a love offer kind of soon. Maybe in the next few months. And it's going to be balanced to your heart and mind. A divine partnership of sorts, you know? I'm pulling one more thing for you. I don't know what it is yet. One more... I think we're gonna go into your um, African tarot really fast. We have a couple minutes before the timer goes off. And I'm gonna give this to you. And then we're gonna go more in depth of how this might happen, who you might meet and how you might meet them. Um, and basically just kind of what's to come forward from what you're choosing now. Mm -hmm. It's one or two things from this, one or two. Ace of Swords, speak up, speak out. Know that your voice is strong and necessary. Knight of Pentacles, you must make the work happen. Strength, believe in yourself, yeah. I know, you might seem that your voice is small or what you have to offer is tiny or what you're gonna do is not gonna really be important or how you're gonna help people is just gonna be small, but listen, every person's movement, every movement you make that is spiritually aligned with what you feel and know and what you want to walk on your path is meant to be and is supposed to like give you the strength for this and for other people to know that there is something more with life that they can make some more of themselves and that you may make more of yourself you have everything you need it's just going to come forward it will it will it will okay we're gonna leave this there pal too thank you so much for being here by the way y'all do not forget to subscribe okay if this like resonated with you help me out help my channel grow okay um and i will see you in your extended reading okay <laughs> pile three what to do with you oh my that's the vibe i'm getting already it's like hmm, hmm, hmm. oh wonder i wonder <laughs> now i wonder what you're thinking about i wonder what this is going to be about i'm so curious i'm intrigued and then what are we going to do about you aren't we i wonder i'm so sorry guys okay first of all if you've been returning you're used to me by now you're like mm -hmm, this weird bitch <laughs> But if you're not, hello, hello, and welcome to the My Witch Angel page. I'm Angel. I'm here to give you this reading. Girl, y'all, I don't know what it's going to be about, but we're going to get into it. Um, now, if you missed the intro, what we're going to do is like, uh, I'm going to shorten the readings down to 10 to 15 minutes so you're not here too long, okay? But I will be offering extended readings woo, for purchase. You can find it in the description below, okay? Um, now, if you're... If you have been here before, you know the drill. But uh, if you're new, what I like to do is a vibe check, okay? And what I get um, from the vibes, like if it resonates with you, great. That means you're in the right place. Stick around. If not, that is completely okay. You can always use another pile or a different video if you like, all right? Um, so without further ado, let me get um, our timer started so I don't go over time. Okay. So first of all, guys, personally, the Hangman has low-key like, been one of my favorite cards in the tarot period. Why? I'm not sure. Like, since I, like, started, I was like, oh, Hangman, I love this card. Pero por qué? Yo no sé. That means, but why? I don't know. So, I think maybe, hold on. There's some things that have been going around in your life that you don't know why they've happened, per se. Maybe they happened to you or not happened to you. Maybe they happened to other people. But you're kind of trying to see this other perspective of what is supposed to have life to happen like this. Like, why, right? But... 
maybe you're just not sure exactly how, and that's okay. We're gonna get more into this too. Um, you know, there's uh, the spirit of abundance is here for you as well. Things that are coming for you to you, but maybe you're not sure how that's going to happen. How are you going to make the steps? to um, have you like your dreams come into fruition. Maybe you're thinking, okay, what if I think this way? What if I try this way? And so spirit's like, oh my, I think you may be thinking too much. Hmm. You're in your head a little bit too much. I think you need to release, let it go. Release and let it flow. Because you know, life will continue to flow like water. It's like magic, you know? Life will continue. And you know, you might not understand everything all the time. You might, you know, put you in this topsy-turvy place of, Oh, okay, well here I am now. T. <laughs> um, but know that you will continue forward. Okay. Interesting vibes, guys, so far. Um, okay, we're gonna go into your uh, tarot reading with my African tarot now. You know, the first two piles are like my Star Spinner tarot, but this one's um, for, oh my God, I, it's my Regal deck. Oh, it's so Regal. Loyal, even I'm getting loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Um, I don't know why. Maybe I've been loyal to a cause, or maybe yeah, maybe I have been loyal to a cause. Maybe it hasn't been loyal to you, or maybe it's changed. Um, maybe ooh, temperament, temperance. Sorry, oh my, temperament came through for you though. This word. So maybe you've been um maybe trying to handle your temperament better, right? Handle it more. Try to feel yourself like this better. Okay, we're gonna keep you guys like this. Ooh. Sorry guys, y'all know me, well, if you do, you don't know me, but if you know me, I never look at the camera and I gotta, first of all, like, I'd be just reading y'all and I'm like, oh shit, can you even see what I'm seeing? Okay, I don't know if we're gonna keep the hangman here or not, I'm not sure, but let's continue, yeah, let's continue with these. Um, we're almost done, we're gonna get two more, and then we'll see what's gonna happen after that. <laughs> because y'all also, if you're new to my readings, y'all, we just, we just, we just pull y'all whatever spirit needs for you i'm gonna give it to you okay i got it i got you yeah um may i pledge and offer my loyalty to you like whenever you return to my readings i will always try my very very best to give you exactly what you need even if they're shortened right now i know um i'm still gonna do my very best to give you everything you need here because i mean that's why i'm here okay for, oh my, the reading is full up for you, my goodness. Aww, it makes sense, I'm offering my cup of love for you, and here you go. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. What is this cause that you might be loyal to, or loyal for? It could be someone, but I'm not getting that too much right now. Hmm, interesting vibes here. I think you've been handling different things all at once. Right? I mean, yeah, I guess people multitask, but I'm getting right now for you, you really have been, okay, let me try this and this and this, let me plan this while that happens, okay, let me do that. You're like, you know, I think been trying to handle a lot of different things, a lot of, like, octopus arms, you know? Doing a lot of things at one time. And I don't know if it's been stressing you out too much, because, you know, we do have the Nine of Swords, which is, like, the stress card, okay, you can't sleep. But in reverse, you know what I'm saying? So, I think you just can, maybe you can, been kind of handling a lot, so I think maybe right now you're trying to see how that's, this is all going to play out, right? Okay, let's see. How is this all going to play out? How are everything that you're doing, everything that you're trying to plan out, how is this going to happen? Um, this is a similar message to, was it pile one? I think it was pile one, y'all. Um, okay. We might pull more tarot later if we feel like it, but right now let me just get your reading, okay? What are you going to do next? I think you're trying to maybe actually actively make more steps that spirit okay divine spirit would be happy with and that's going to lead you towards your divine path right maybe you have been like a little bit more of a spiritually realized person right excuse me Ooh, big energy is coming out my goodness um right yes you've been on your like divine path and so you're trying to make sure that what you're going to continue next is going to be the right thing to do right we have this wheel of fortune in reverse you haven't been getting a lot of messages maybe right maybe you haven't been getting too many things that make sense for you and you have these nine of cups also in reverse you know everything that you've been trying to realize or manifest maybe it hasn't happened yet or you're not sure how it's going to all play out with how your life is right now right you're like how am i going to make this happen maybe you don't know what action you can take if you can think of anything if you can say anything to make this happen you're like well, i don't really know what i can do next you know what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit of, uh, yeah, off energy. Like, you're not lost, I don't feel. It's just you kind of made me feel off. 
You know what I'm saying? Ten of Wands in reverse. Maybe your dreams are taking a new shape of reality. Maybe they're changing. Because, you know, we have the Ten of Wands, which is, which is like all of your passions realized. However, this in reverse, I'm getting... Maybe it's changing. You know, maybe you're shifting what you wanted before, right? What are you supposed to do? Where are you supposed to go? We have the Four of uh, Pentacles here. You know, I'm getting like your foundation is changing. Um, but, you know, I think you have faith in that. And you have faith in spirit and in yourself. If I can pick up this dang card. Hmm. You know, you see this uh, little hummingbird here? First of all, I send this hummingbird for you. Um, personally, a hummingbird is like one of my personal like spiritual animals, and I want to send it for you, okay? So please continue to look for hummingbirds in your life. It could be the real one. It could be illustrations. It could be a music video. I don't know. But know that a sign, this is a sign for you that I send for you, that spirit may send for you as well. You know, we work together, okay? <laughs> We're all together in this. Um, to know that they have got you, that they have heard you, they continue to hear you and continue to offer things spree that's going to help you feel more fulfilled in your emotions right help you feel more at ease and continue to move in a way that's can, going to bring you about this um oh my what is it what to do with you this 11 11 right this divine path moment um hmm interesting very interesting i'm not sure what is it that you want what do you want <laughs> you guys know that meme or they made it a meme from the notebook what do you I don't know. So maybe what you're wanting is changing, right? Temperance here. And you're trying to keep a level head about it. Trying to keep this balance. of like, okay, well, what do I really feel? Or what do I, what am I really thinking? How has my life led me here so far, right? What is changing? You know, I'm almost getting like you're almost stepping into like this new type of like portal, right? Um, which like, yeah, portals are real in a sense like to where you kind of move and do something that changes your entire life, right? Something can happen to you that changes your entire life, yes. But here, now I'm getting to where you're choosing this, where you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this and it's gonna change my entire life. And yeah, I'm getting a lot of to do with emotion, not too much career in a sense. It's more of like what you feel called to do, you know? Like what you feel internally that is right. What is your spiritual message, your divine message forward? Moving forward. What is the push forward? You need to push something forward. <clears throat> oh, goodness. I almost couldn't breathe. <clears throat> Excuse me. My goodness, you're getting choked up about it, right? <laughs> My. Um, yeah, you need to push it forward. You need to tell this person something or tell somebody something like this. Whatever you've been feeling on the inside, you need to push it forward. I don't know. Maybe you need to express something in a way to tell this message for people or someone. So let me continue forward and clear out an energy to help you <sighs> jump start and go. Maybe we're gonna get what that is or how to do that. Um, you know, we can actually pull more of my um, African tarot to do this. I'm actually pulling a little bit more of your um, mirror oracle too. We might do two at the same time. Hi. They said hi. Let's do one more. It's close. Ooh, it's close. Ooh, I feel it. It's close. Spirit. Maybe we have it, please. There it is. Yep. Double in reverse. T. We can do more cards. There is the, something of wands on the bottom, but man, it's okay. We're going to uh, clarify these out with our mirror cards, okay? I might do three or four. Um, you know, three, 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 three might be a big number for you. I'm not seeing it here, but I'm seeing it for you now, okay? That is an angel of divine number. Um, it's to know that your spiritual guides are always with you. I'm getting ancestor vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, your spiritual team or maybe some of your ancestors. Um, you know what, we're gonna go into your ancestors, to your ancestral uh, period, I mean your extended reading, okay? And we're gonna see what they have to say for you and how they would like to help you. Yep, well look at we got the 11, but it's in reverse, you need to do it, you need to do it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so you do have an, uh, oh wow, we have sexuality in reverse too. Creative energies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's on the bottom? Nurture is on the bottom of this, okay? 
Here she is, hi. Um, it is a beautiful card that you may see, but we're not gonna keep it the whole time, okay? Um, cause it's, it's just not very necessary right now, but I think maybe that helps some of you guys to see that. Putting it to the side. So listen, um, let's talk about meditation, right? Cause I think a lot of you guys know this, you guys know about this. Um, so let's focus on your solar plexus chakra. That is that inner, I mean, yeah, this is like circle chakra right now, but let's talk about your, most of this is uh, the solar plexus and you know the circles right underneath that so i think you've had a lot of creativity before it's hidden right now underneath the blockage of a solar plexus is and you know the solar plexus is expression okay right of coming forward and coming through um in a way that use your words carefully use your words kindly continue Mm. How are you going to balance what is necessary and people's emotions? You might need to, th to think about this for a little bit and be careful and not to hurt others. Um, I don't know, I think you might have a big opinion that you need to express in a way that will be easily digested and understood by a wide variety or by that you know one person to understand everything that you're saying. What is it? Um... How do you need to do? So this word, with this word, what are you gonna say? I don't know. Okay, let's move Let's move on to your blockage, right? Start small with things that you just feel like, I wanna do this. Okay, then do it. And they could be like, oh, I wanna go get a bag of chips. Go do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, allow yourself to be freer. And allow yourself to be free in this motion is gonna help that solar plexus open up and help you express that uh, confidently and fully. Um, and then when you start like little by little, step by step, it can move that up into a very, you know, serious energy, something serious that you need to get across that you've been kind of um, harboring for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's held you back in being yourself, you know, expressing yourself, right? But you're like, oh, I don't know if I should say that. I don't know if I could say it or like what that person do. Like, would they hate me? I don't know. But you need to free yourself from these chains, boom. Like you're not exactly in it. I think you're afraid to get in this energy. But so listen, you won't be in this energy if you think about what you need to do like fully and you know, smart with compassion, okay? To let that be. And remember the message of joy, okay? Look, your main reason here needs to be the spreading of joy, okay? Um, We're gonna leave that here for your reading. So um, if this is where I, um in this with you pile three right we're bothered um thank you so much for being here if you are gonna go to the extended then i'll see you there okay oh guys don't forget to subscribe okay it helps my channel grow Alrighty, bye Ooh, hello pile four hello welcome <laughs> yes i love it. i'm getting such big cheery energy from you happy happy vibes happy things happy things to go okay so, really fast. If you skip the intro, it's totally fine. Um, uh, okay, so the basic what I said, I'm gonna make the readings a little bit store shorter. So like, you know, you don't have to spend too much time here on YouTube on my reading, it's fine. But I will be offering extended reading, okay? Um, you can find that for purchase in the description box. Yo, what's good? Okay, um, guys, I'm so happy you're here. So I'm like, for some reason, I'm just like, this is so cheery. You guys have such a big, like, like energizer vibe. Oh my God. Ugh. So really fast, okay, if you are new, hello, welcome, what's up, what's good? What I've been doing just now is a vibe check, okay? I'm gonna check the vibes that you got, what I get from you and your card, and if that resonates with you, bet that means you're in the right place, stick around. If not, that's completely okay. You can always use another reading um, or another pile if you like, okay? Um, so let's continue. <laughs> so look, we got the one, we got the, this is not the ace, is it? Yes, the ace of cups, right? And my, guys, for some reason, Meeting a another energy here. Who is it? It's someone for you. Someone is speaking for you. Who is it? This is kind of scary. What is this? I don't know who that is. Guys, I'm so sorry. This feels so weird. I'm nervous. I'm a little bit scared even. I think maybe hold on, I just saw this charm. It came out for a different reading, but I didn't even get this for them. Um, I think 
okay, your soulmate persons, like their higher self is coming through right now. And they're trying to tell you that they, oh my God, so much love you. Um, and that they would like to give you so many things for your life. They'd like to give you so many things for your soul, for your body, okay? Um, a lot of emotions. They want to have a big um, emotional relationship with you. They want to give you treasures and that you, you know, because you are a treasure. You see? Like, you're their pearl. Um, um, you might be looking, like you said, she's looking into this cup. You might be thinking how they could do this, how this could happen. You might be getting a, a romantic offer pretty soon, actually. Um, oh my goodness. Um... What else are your emotions? Your emotions run deep. You know, very, very deep. Either with this person that you already know, you don't know them yet, and they're coming soon. Oh my. That's freaking deep. Oh my god. Big deal. Um, okay. Whoa, weird. Um, okay. Well, we're gonna stop that. Yo, I didn't even do the timer yet. Things are shifting here. Um, if you have started to choose a soulmate path or a divine path, um, you might have chosen actually a soulmate path. Um, or maybe have been thinking like, okay, you know what? Yeah, I kind of want to be with some person. Yeah, I'd like to be with somebody. Um, we have that higher divine soulmate person coming in for you now. Let's start the timer. Um, wow. I don't even know what to choose next. Let's choose a music deck for you, actually. Let's choose what songs we might have for you. Um, because you know, oh, these cards, by the way, are from Jalissa's, uh, messages she's also on youtube and an amazing reader uh these are her cards and they're all like lovey kind of like type of cards are like relationship type cards um so we're gonna see uh, what comes for you i'm gonna shuffle them for you okay i'm gonna shuffle out these energies i'm gonna clear it up because this person is coming in guys i'm so sorry this is weird for me They really want to tell you something. Oh my gosh, this is all over the place. Your energies are scattered. Either you're not with them right now, or they're really trying to come in. This is, you know, it's a lot of different people. So it's ugh, a lot of different energies that I have to pick through right now, you know what I'm saying? Guys, what else do you want me to say? Ugh, hold on. That one. And then, ugh, it's kind of close. That one. Sorry, y'all. I just saw that you couldn't see that. Um, one more. Let me just. Ugh. The what? Come up. Hello, hello. We're coming in. I'm trying to tell you this. They really want to give you this message. Uh. We'll keep it, we'll keep it like this, because we have more cards to do. First one, Beyonce, what is it? Irreplaceable, yo. Everything you own in the box to the left, in the closet, that's my stuff. Yes, if I buy it, please don't touch. And keep talking that mess, that's fine. But could you walk and talk at the same time? And it's my name that's on that tag, so remove your bags, let me call you a cab. You know, your person right now is breaking up with somebody, like maybe a karmic or someone they're just not supposed to be with anymore, and they're gonna come to you next. So that's the relationship that's gonna come to you next. Um, also, we have another Beyonce, ring the alarm, ring, 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 guys, I rung the bell for you right at the beginning, this is coming for you, my god, guys, what the fuck, okay, ring the alarm, I've been through this too long, but I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm, once you ring the alarm, I've been through this too long, but I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm, yo, okay, so if you already know what this person is, and you know they're, they're gonna come through, they're like, yeah, no, I'm not gonna let nobody else take you right now, like, I'm gonna be your next relationship, I'm gonna be the next person, because that's what I want, you're who I want, um, whether you know this person or not, I think that's what it's gonna be, boys to men, I'll make love to you, aww, close your eyes, make a wish, and blow out the candlelight, for tonight is just your night, we're gonna celebrate, all through the night, pour the wine, light the fire, go your wish is my command, I submit to your demands, I will do anything, Girl, you need only ask. Now, um, if you are a man, flip switch, okay? Flip words, sort of the gender words. Um, now, oh my goodness. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Their person like, okay, look, I'm coming for you. I want you. I'm letting you know right now. <laughs> coming for you and I want you so bad. And they're like, because I love you. But, you know, it's not just like, oh my God, I want this person. I'm going to like be with like somebody just for relationship reasons no like it's because they love you and want to love you and want to like have a 
a mutual emotional relationship with you that you can build up together you know what i'm saying um yeah like ten of cups energy like happily ever after shit right there oh my okay we're gonna do my caroline miss first these are my original oracle cards we're gonna see what um um, what they have for you guys by the way the way why i knock on cards right uh if you're into tarot um knocking on cards can clear out their energies okay and um help you get a more accurate reading and also it's helping me get these vibes right because it's you know different people have different soulmates where you came at again we're gonna keep you Aw, uh, prince underneath but we might not keep it i don't know <laughs> we're gonna shuffle Okay. Oops. Well, we're gonna do that one. Ooh, we have victim. Um, but uh, reverse. Uh, we're gonna do maybe one more. It's coming. It's so cool. here. It is. Ooh, in reverse. Yeah. I think it's one more. Uh, I think it might be this one. Dilettante, maybe this one too. It's still okay. You know, spirit's moving in a way that you may not fully understand. You know, you're gonna be like, uh, the fuck? Like, uh, I'm not even, maybe I've been manifesting a love like this, but maybe I haven't been really even thinking about it. So this might come to you out of nowhere. Uh, you know, it can be kind of tricky to like how you think spirit can work and be like, uh, I ain't no lover coming to me, but listen, um, I got a, a quick example. Previously, I got a reading like, oh, you know, you're gonna need someone's gonna help you with your music career because, like, you know, I'm trying to get into music. Um, but at that time, though, I was like, I work at home and my car is like uh, <laughs> in the shop, like in the garage. So, I, how am I gonna meet somebody? And I'm like, I'm not online. But the uh, Uber driver, the Lyft driver that I took, he was a whole producer guy or like music person who was like all into that shit. So, um, you know. And I like, took the lift to go to, you know, sell my car. So I'm like, you know, there's going to be a way. You know how, like, they say uh, the Lord moves in mysterious ways or, like, spirit moves. It's, like, it's, it's all same, same. Um, so it, things around you are going to move in mysterious ways to, like, help this happen. You know, spirit uses everything to help. There's, there's so many pathways that, you know, life is on, that you are on and then tied to that will kind of tie you guys together right um it hasn't happened yet and i think you might not have even really thinking about that or really even wanted it that much but um yeah this person's coming in like a word they're gonna come in and be like oh i like you i like you so much i love you okay i'm not gonna say it maybe I'm here. maybe we could be a little bit of love at first sight i mean i don't know about that in love like oh my gosh i love me but like oh my god i just i just met you but like i like you i love like i love you you're good you're cool um not like in love but love um yeah, I'm not sure that's gonna happen. You're not you're not sure if you're ready yet either. A lot of y'all out there are like, oh, am I even ready for this? I'm even trying to go for a relationship right now. What is the tea? Um, and right now, like my cat is being oh so silly by the door. She's never silly by the door. And you know, that door's opening up and that person's like, I'm gonna open the door, I come for you, here I go. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Don't worry. Now I know you can be a little worried about like, oh my gosh, am I even ready for a relationship like this? Can I even do something like this? But don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, six of wands, five of cups. Wow, this is making sense already. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Hmm. You know, with freedom of choice, you can choose to accept this lover, and you may choose not to. Um. Doesn't mean it's the right or wrong thing. It's just simply your choice. Mm, moon in reverse. Okay. Ooh, one more. Uno más, you guys. One more. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm shuffling. Actually, it may not be one more. Let's just read this, okay? I'm getting a, uh, if you don't know why I'm arranging cards like this, look into sacred geometry and divine um, shapes like that. 
because I haven't. <laughs> I will one day and I just know that's a thing. Um, so there you go. <laughs> I will, so I can probably explain it more later, but if you're curious, there you go. You can, you can tell me, teach me something. I'd love to learn. Um, okay. So I have, <laughs> with the six of wands, victory screech. <laughs> you remember that from Spongebob? Anyway, so I know you might be a little bit scared of like, if, if this is your energy, you might be all for this. Like, hell yeah, give me my lover, give me my purse, Santa, let's do it. Um, <laughs> and I'm not getting, I'm not getting like super thirsty vibes from you guys. I'm just getting like, okay, I'm down for like a partner, let's go. Well, victory, okay. Um, and however, like, ooh, so listen, I might be a lot of like, oh my gosh, this is my person, this could be my thing, then what if this happens, what if that happens, oh my god, I like them so much, we vibe so well, we just really match, what if I fall in love with them too fast, or, you know, wow, big energies, what if, you know, um, I don't know, something goes wrong, and we F it up, and like, we're not together, and then I lose my soulmate or something, right, there's a lot of, of doubts, but honestly, I'm getting a, a message of hope here with this dove, I don't get that all the time with this card, um, but this is divine intervention saying, hey, don't fall off the deep end, you will be fine. Like, this is a, a divine moment coming for you. Like, this is a divine meaning. Um, you know, however, with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So you haven't been on this path. Maybe you haven't been choosing to walk along a path of divine lover, right? Um, but with this Wheel of Fortune here. Hmm. You can continue to manifest this, starting now, from this, if you would like. If you don't, it may not happen, you'll continue along your own path and you'll be fine. You might have a little regret, a little bit of doubt about it, but at the end of the day you'll be like, yeah, it's okay, I didn't really want to love her in the first place, okay? Um, however, if you do choose this, you're gonna choose to, uh, like, continue along your path and make sure you're more a presentable of yourself, meaning it might work on more of your finances, more of your appearance, more of what you can offer in, you know, in a relationship so that you may be more fair, more honest, and more open about your emotions and what you feel. Because maybe you haven't been fully comfortable with that, you know, in the past with our moon here, right? And you're like, oh, I don't know if I can really share my emotions like that, I don't feel comfortable like this. But no, like, it's going to be releasing um, when you're like with this person, if you choose to be with this person, um, when they come in. You know, you might know. We might get more answers in our extended reading, okay? That's what we're gonna do, like, when this person can come in. But, um, yeah, know that this is coming for you maybe in the next couple months. A few weeks, even, for a couple people. A few weeks to a few months. Yeah, okay, in extended, we're gonna get, like, more detail on this person, how this could happen, okay? So, hey, um, if this is where we part ways, thank you so much for being here. I so much love and appreciate you, okay? Um, if I'm gonna see you extended, I will see you there, okay? Bye! Oh, don't forget to subscribe! It helps my channel grow. Love, bye!